Hey Sal. Hello, Britt. I picked this up at a garage sale, and I know you like colors. I you love wear, colors. You wear colorful shirts every day, and I thought you might like this. I do. This is is very cool. I, I like yeah. So what are you hoping to do with this thing? Well, uh, at minimum, just maybe represent numbers would the be good. Count, good start. Keep track of numbers. Yeah, you know, counting the yep. number of days yep. or one, two, three. Yeah, I could imagine doing oh, that. Okay, so moving the beat down is a number. Great. And yeah, uh, that's there's. There's 10. 10 there, so then maybe that'd be 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90, 100. Yeah, you could count 100 beads to, to keep track of things. What if I need to count uh, 105 or 6? Do I need to buy another one? I don't even know where I'd get more of these. Um, that would be an option. Okay. <laughs> I guess maybe not an option if you don't know where to get it. Let's see. Um, well, you know, the, the different colors, you know, just like we have different forms of currency, maybe we can have each of these, each of these, each of these colors, or maybe the columns, they, they represent a different amount. So this is 10 right over here, but what if we had one of these red beads represent 10 of these blue beads in this first column? So then you could go, this would be 10, or you could say that is 10. So there's two representations of 10 here. On yeah, the way we just worked it out here, yeah. Okay. And then eleven would be that. Okay. And this is twenty one. Twenty one. Yep. You have two tens and a one. Twenty one. The wooden color is <laughs> going to represent all of the red beads. Yeah. If each of one of the yeah, that's uh, that's a good system. If each column represents represents ten of the beads to the column to its right. Okay. That could be interesting because if this represents 10 red beads, that's 10 tens. That would be equivalent, this is equivalent to 100 blue beads. Wow. And so this would be equivalent to 10 of the brown beads, which would be 100 of the red beads, which would be 1,000 of the blue beads. And this would be 10,000 of the blue beads. And this would be 100,000 of the other blue beads. This would be a million of the blue beads. And we're going to be able to represent all the numbers in between one and, say, a million? Um, I think we can. Let's just... Let me just give you a number right. and see how you. What okay. about fifteen thousand and three? So let's think a little bit about this. So let's let's try with the big numbers first. So let's see, each of these is one. Each of these is ten. Each of these is a hundred. Each of these is a thousand. I don't have fifteen of these, no. but these are ten thousand. Each of these are ten thousand. So this right. is one ten thousand, and then I could do five thousands. One, two, three, four, five. So this is fifteen thousand. So one ten thousand, five thousands. Then zero hundreds, zero tens, and then throw a three there. So fifteen thousand and three.